I've spent thousands of dollars on bourbon. I own grape bottles and bat bottles. But today, I'm gonna show you the perfect bourbon bar for $250. Then after, I'm gonna ask artificial intelligence to do the same thing. We're gonna go head to head. Now when you're getting into bourbon, things can be a bit overwhelming. When you're at a liquor store, it seems like there's endless options and you just don't know where to start. There's different terms, different prices, different proofs. You just don't know what's gonna be best for you. But after this video, you're gonna know exactly what to get. Now to spice things up, I also asked AI to make the same list that I made today and I'm gonna be putting mine head to head. I believe AI is no match for me, but let's find out. Now my first pick today is gonna to be Old Forester 1910. This bottle is distilled at Old Forester and it is aged for an undisclosed amount of time. This bottle is made up of 78% corn, 18% rye, and 10% malted barley. And it's bottled at 93 proof. Yes, for all you mathematicians out there, it is 72% corn. I misspoke and said 78, back to the show. This bottle has a special place in my heart because this is what got me into bourbon. This is the first bottle I ever purchased and this is what introduced me to the wonderful world of spending all your disposable income on a drink. I still drink it today. It's easy to drink. It's got a great caramel sweetness and vanilla aftertaste and it just keeps me coming back. Retails for about 50 to 55 bucks. Now the first Mr. Roboto pick. Blanton's. Distilled at Buffalo Trace in age six to eight years, Blanton's is bottled at 93 proof and made up of mash bill number two. Now, Mr. Roboto is not so smarto because most of us are not finding Blanton's for 65 bucks. In fact, you could easily eat up your entire $250 budget on this bottle alone. But let's roll with the punches because I think 1910 would beat Blanton's in a side-by-side. -side. Now, my second pick is Wild Turkey 101. Distilled at the Wild Turkey Distillery, this bottle is aged six to eight years, bottled at 101 proof. The mash bill is made up of 75% corn, 13% rye, and 12% malted barley. This bottle is an absolute home run for the price. I think this bottle alone brings me to the top against AI. When I drink Wild Turkey 101, I get dark fruit, light baking spices, and a vanilla bomb. Now what makes this bottle so damn good for your $250 bar, this bottle is $25. You, you cannot beat that for $25. This is the greatest $25 bottle of whiskey that you will ever find. The second pick for Mr. Roboto is Four Roses Single Barrel. This whiskey is aged seven to nine years and is bottled at 100 proof. The mash bill is made up of 60% corn, 35% rye, and 5% malted barley. Now I will give it to Mr. Roboto on this one. This is a damn good choice. It delivers brown sugar, vanilla, and a good amount of that rice spice. This bottle retails for about 50 bucks. Now my third pick is gonna be Bardstown Origin Series, bottled and bomb. Now this bourbon is distilled by Bardstown Bourbon Company and is aged six years in infrared toasted barrels. It's bottled at 100 proof and is made up of 68% corn, 20% wheat, and 12% malted barley. This whiskey is balanced, full of flavor, and it's 50 bucks. I get honey and fresh pastries and a little bit of caramelized sugar on this one. This is an absolute buy all day. Now the third pick for Mr. Roboto is Weller Special Reserve. Distilled at Buffalo Trace, Weller Special Reserve is bottled at 90 proof and it's made up of the weeded mash. It's also aged for an undisclosed amount of time. Now Mr. Roboto must not have data on how easy it is to find bottles. I know this is easier in some places than others, but this goes for upwards of $100. Well at retail, it is a $25 bottle. At 25, I say buy it all day but 50 and up, I just can't justify it. It's good, but not great. AI, you're looking weak so far. Now we need something with a little more kick, a little more flavor, maybe, maybe a little more heat to it. For that, my number four is gonna be Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Distilled at Heaven Hill, this bourbon is aged 12 years and is bottled at about 120 proof. This whiskey is made up of 78% corn, 10% rye, and 12% malted barley. For a beginner, this whiskey might blow your taste buds out of the water. It might be a little hot, but as you continue down your bourbon journey, most people, including myself, begin to gravitate towards the higher proof spirits. Since it's barrel proof, no water has been added. It is straight from the barrel. You get all that flavor, none of it's diluted down, but you also get all the heat. When I drink this, I get dark brown sugar, chocolate, and a little bit of nuttiness at the end. Retailing for $69. <laughs> this is one you'll be glad to have. Now the fourth pick from Mr. Roboto, Elijah Craig 
small batch. Just like my beloved Barrel Proof, this whiskey is distilled at Heaven Hill. It's aged for an undisclosed amount of time, and it's bottled at 94 proof. It has the same mash bill, which is gonna be 78% corn, 10% rye, and 12% malted barley. When I drink this whiskey, I do get similar flavors as the Barrel Proof, but it's just much lighter. But it is a damn good whiskey, and it's 25 bucks. I think it's a great pick for Mr. Roboto. Touche, my friend, touche. Now for the final pick, me and Mr. Roboto agreed on the same one. That's gonna be Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. This whiskey is distilled at Woodford Reserve, it's not age stated, and it's bottled at 90.4 proof. This whiskey is made up of 72% corn, 18% rye, and 10% malted barley. Now, as you can tell by the name, this has been barrel aged twice. So what that means is they empty it out from one barrel, they put in another one, and they finish it to extract the maximum amount of flavor in the least amount of time. This bottle is sweet, dark cherry, caramelized sugar. It's overall just really balanced and pleasant to drink. It goes for about 60 bucks. It's worth every penny. For me, when you're starting your bourbon journey, I think it's really important to try as much variety, as many different distilleries as possible to figure out what fits your palate the best. As you start to discover that, then you start digging deeper into those distilleries that you really prefer. Now my question to you guys, if you've tried all these bottles, which list would you prefer? And if you're also curious about five bourbons you should avoid at all cost, check out this video right here. It was great having you guys today. Cheers.